What's up guys? Welcome to Beardy Plays and today I'm going to be playing 150,000 BC. This is a dollar 20 on Steam right now, Canadian, probably like a dollar American and uh I'll leave it up to you whether it's worth it or not. Let's just play the game and I'll show you a couple things I found out about it. And uh right away it's a platformer. I'm not a huge fan of platformers, but I'm not going to downgrade it for that. Um the controls are WASD, and the S doesn't do anything. It's just A and D are left and right. The W is jump. But also the other half of the keyboard is uh, the arrow keys. So you can left, right, and jump with the uh, left, right, and up arrow keys on the other, other side of the keyboard. So you have two sets of controls that you can use, but they all do the same things. And I was playing this game... To make sure it worked before I recorded. And every now and then I would like jump and oh, I'd fly off. I was like, what the hell? What's going on? Right? So I found out that because I was using both hands on the controls, I was going left and right with my left hand and I was jumping with my right hand. But every now and then I was also jumping with my left hand. And I figured it out that if you do both at the same time, you just fly. Like, you just straight up fly in the game. I'm pretty sure that's not intended. I'm pretty sure that's a glitch. But look at that. You don't even have to... I'm just glitching through the block. You don't even have to, like, land on them or anything. You can just land near a block and you're and you're safe, right? But once I learned how, learned how to fly, I mean, that's pretty much what I, what I did. I just fly through the whole thing. It's pretty easy, but... Even without this major flaw, uh, other things I notice about this game that I just have to mention are notice there's no time limit. Notice how I don't have any like life life count, I'm like no mans, right? Like how many mans do I have? I have un I have unlimited mans. I have unlimited mans. I can fly. I got all the time in the world. Uh, but there's like there's no coins to collect. There's no like little monsters around shooting at you or like obstacles other than the, the spike pit. I guess 150,000 BC was pretty boring, but I mean, they could have had animals, right? Or like cool round rocks or shiny rocks that you could have collected or something, right? Or a time or, or mans or, or something, right? But no, it's pretty basic. This strikes me as something that, like, if if you had any programming experience at all, you could probably turn this out on a weekend, maybe a long weekend in Unity or something like that, right? It strikes me as something that, like, anybody could do if if they just knew the a little bit about programming games. And a dollar twenty on Steam, I got this for like probably 10 cents or 15 cents or something like that. I probably got it off because I didn't buy it off Steam. I probably got it off one of those other websites that uh, you buy keys in bulk. And uh, it was just one of the bulk keys, I guess. It's like flying around. Oh, and that's the game. Game over. It's like five or six levels or something like that. It took me under four minutes to do once you figured out you could fly but honestly even even if you don't fly there's nothing challenging about it even if you die there's no limited lives you know you can take all the time you want you can land on the side of blocks there's no anything. You're not going against time. You're not going against like a life meter or a life count. There's no like anything. There's nothing, nothing. You jump onto blocks and try not to fall on the spikes. I guess it's good because it's short and it has five achievements in the game and it counts towards your game count on your profile. So if that's worth a dollar twenty to you, it's not to me. There's a lot better games you can get for a dollar twenty. But I'll leave that up to you guys. I give this like a two out of five stars, uh, maybe a one out of five stars. I mean, I give it a two because you can play it. 
uh, there's games that I might review that are w- true one star games that you can't even play. So I guess this is a two, but it's I I would say it's not worth it. I'll leave it up to you guys. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. If you like what you see, uh, subscribe. I'm going to come up with a bunch of video games coming out all the time and uh, tips for your Steam profile and all that good stuff. So stay tuned, guys. Later.